Did you ever yourself look at the DPS data before issuing the press release? I do not recall. That's just one of the questions state senators had today for Texas Secretary of State David Whitley during a confirmation hearing. They want to know more about his list questioning the citizenship of 95,000 registered voters. KVU political reporter Ashley Godot was there. And Ashley, first, why a confirmation hearing when he's already taken the oath of office? Well, Quita, you can file that under things we do in Texas. Here, the Secretary of State is not elected by the people, but appointed by the governor. And no matter when that appointment happens, the Senate cannot vote to confirm them until the legislature meets. So David Whitley was sworn in back in December, so now the Senate can confirm him. And it was made very clear today, many senators aren't a fan of his performance thus far. It's the press release that started a firestorm with one sentence. The Texas Secretary of State's office discovered that a total of approximately 95,000 individuals identified by DPS as non-U.S. citizens have a matching voter registration record. We know for certain today that that list was wrong, don't we? I've heard that reported, Senator. Secretary of State David Whitley now answering to the Senate Committee on Nominations. You see, he has not yet been confirmed, and it turns out tens of thousands on that list are citizens. I learned that I have an intern who got the notification. The list was built using names from DPS of people who said they were not citizens when they got a driver's license, but thousands were later naturalized. Whitley maintains he thought the data was correct and is limited in what he can do. The Secretary of State's office has no investigative or prosecutorial authority. And that's well, why it was important for me to get the data into hands of the counties that, that do have that investigative authority. But many senators think he fell short. Why then was it immediately necessary to refer it to a law enforcement agency? I had a voter registration card and a driver's license. Could my name get on that list? I don't know, Senator. Questioning his motives, involvement with the attorney general, who later released a voter fraud alert and voter suppression. How do and you define it? I think it's irrelevant how I, didn't I would define I, well, it. Well, you're the Secretary of State, sir, and it's relevant to me if I'm going to vote for your confirmation. How do you define voter suppression? Easy I, question. I think, I think it's it's relevant to to accurately define any term that pertains to elections. Whitley fielding questions for two hours, not willing to talk with us when he was finished as his confirmation hangs in the balance. So Whitley also could not answer how many people are on that list who shouldn't be. As for his confirmation, the committee will vote next week whether to send his nomination to the full Senate.